And now that we have community notes, which while it's not perfect, I think is, it's the best fact checking that I've seen on the internet. And so if someone were to post false information, they can be community noted. And, you know, it's always important to say like, no fact checking system is perfect. If perfect perfection is the standard, you can just basically dispense with all fact checking because nothing will be perfect. But really, it's really how good is the batting average of any, any fact checking system. My observation of community notes is that the the batting average, the, the, the probability that it, the note is correct is, is very high, much better than anything else that I've seen on the internet. And everything in community notes, the code, the data, everything is open source. So you, uh, you can independently uh, recreate the outcome of any, any note uh, as a third party. So that's it's full transparency. So I think that having the, the community notes capability is a very powerful, it's the most powerful disinformation weapon that I'm, you know, for actually combating disinformation. I mean, I agree. Yeah. Now, can I throw something in real quick here? Look, this is why I believe what people were saying and actually questioned and, and for a little while thought it might not have happened. We were lied to about WMDs in Iraq. We were lied to about anthrax in Iraq. There was Operation Northwoods. There was Operation Northwoods in 2000. ABC News declassified. The U.S. government planned to stage fake mass shootings and blowing up airlines with people that would take off that would land CIA, and then they would actually just blow up a drone plane and then claim a mass event had happened or claim a mass fake shooting happened. So Jesse Smollett lied about what he did. Hezbollah and Hamas, Hezbollah ran it, did kill a lot of Israelis, condemned the attack. But it wasn't true that they cut a bunch of kids' heads off. Even the White House and Israel has to admit that. Well, people came out and said they didn't believe that, that there was proof that Hamas cut heads off. So the establishment view was they did cut heads off. They didn't. So how do we penalize people that, I mean, if somebody wants to believe the earth's flat, they have a right to, and the community notes and everybody else can challenge them. But it's the establishment lying so much that makes people not believe anything. And then they lose faith in everything. I'm, I'm actually worried about this because a lot of my audience is yeah. so, so disillusioned. They think I'm an agent or something too. I'm not. So, so. You know, you know, I don't know how we handle this, but I think the government and the media and the think tanks and the PR firms, the propaganda firms, as Elon rightfully said, have been lying professionally so much, they poison the well where no one knows what to believe. They've created a smoke screen. And so I don't know how we deal with that other than getting the two. Alex, I just want to be clear, like, you know, Hamas does have a habit of cutting off heads. 